Okay, everyone, I'm Trevor, and you're watching SoCal Disney Dad, and today we are at the Arizona Sea Life Aquarium in the Arizona Mills Mall here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're out in Arizona on spring break 2022. We're gonna go to the Sea Life Aquarium. Thank you so much to Legoland Discovery Center and the Sea Life Aquarium for inviting us out here today to be able to go to the Sea Life Aquarium. We appreciate it very much, so let's get going. Let's show you all the fish and everything there is to do here at the Sea Life Aquarium in Arizona. <laughs> Now it is time to go into the Sea Life Aquarium. This is right across from the Legoland Discovery Center here at the Arizona Mills Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. You can purchase your tickets right here at the booth if you want to, but it is recommended that you get them online because reservations and space is limited. So to make sure that you can get in, I would recommend uh, getting your tickets online. The entrance though is right next to the gift shop here. The gift shop anybody can get into even if you don't have a ticket. If you are just visiting the mall here at Arizona Mills, you can come into the Sea Life Aquarium's uh, gift shop, no problem. But to actually get into the aquarium, you've got to go in through here with a ticket. So we got a mission pack here at the front. The mission pack is going to have stamps and activities and things to do as we make our way through the Sea Life Aquarium. So it's a way to level up your experience, if you will, with a mission pack. It says our journey will begin in two minutes. Now it does look like they might normally have a screen in here or something. We've got some nice shark teeth over here though. But the door is just right open so that we can walk right in. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do. Wow, look at this. This is a really cool entrance room. This is a, it says fresh water. Start your sea life journey in the local freshwater streams and rivers of Arizona. It looks like this is the round-tailed chub. Round-tailed chub. Hello, Mr. Chubbs. This guy really just wants to be in the shot. There he goes. Now let's see if we can see some of these minnows. There they are. As we leave the freshwater area, we make our way into here. Whoa, an oxalotl. This is an oxalotl. He's like a fish he's with dead. feet. He's dead. He's not dead. He's not dead, like he's moving. There's a big one back there. They also have some educational things in here. Did you know there are 5.25 trillion pieces of plastic waste estimated to be in our oceans? Looks like our boys found the first punch station. Find the right fish. Our oceans are running out of big fish. Find out what different fish you could try eating instead. Oh. Instead of cod, try mackerel. Instead of tuna, try collie. And instead of prawns, try mussels. Ooh, look here, we're in the harbor now. We've made our way into the harbor. The sheltered, shallow waters of harbors support an amazing variety of marine life. The largest natural harbor in the United States is New York Harbor. Looks like there's some fish back there. We got like a shark going up the, the wall over there. Ooh, here's one right here. Slithering along. Ooh, he stopped. Oh, and here comes another one. Traffic jam. We got some nice big fish over here. making our way through here. Next up is the rock pools. We found dive station number two. Rock pools are home to some cool creatures like sea stars and crabs. If you were brave enough to touch one, stamp your book. You have to touch one now. You were supposed to touch one before. Wait, 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 wait. He's supposed to touch one. Go ahead, James. She's about two and a half years old. Do you, you want to touch one of the crabs? Yeah, you do. Hey, you're hanging right there. Oh no. Well, it's not going to hurt. No, it's fine. Look, over here we found Dory. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 just keep swimming. Oh, hello. Swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, there is. 
you missed him? I did. Hello, Mr. A. Let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the deep blue sea. Take a stroll under the pier as you travel along the harbor. Look, we have some eels in here. So I guess this is the shoaling ring, and they're supposed to swim all around in the same direction. But we see some fishes fighting the currents over here. The rebellious ones. They were like, no, I'm gonna go the other way. I could sit in here for hours. Go stick your head in there. Oh, Benji's not even tall enough. James, let's go see if you can stick your head in there. <laughs> There's both the boys. <laughs> I can see mommy. Ooh. Hold on, you got a glare on you. There we go. There they are. Mommy's gonna go in now. The next room is right here. This way, you look at the fish, boys. Now we found the rays. This is a really cool room. It's got like a hut roof. And we're gonna go see some rays. Look, this is like a big version of what we were just looking at. Kind of. That's an interesting looking fish, I will tell you that. Is that like a giant clam right there? Oh, this ray's coming back. Find the answer A. James wanted to show you dive station number three. Look, it's like a somewhat clear floor. Hi, mommy. Dive station number four is next. And it's right next to a bunch of fishies. See some clownfish and another dory fish. I know that's not what they're called. The blue tang. Blue tang, that's it. <laughs> hey, I found um, Dad and Dory. There's Dory. That's the cleaner fish from Finding Nemo. What's his name again? Jacques? Jacques. Jacques. Look, there's this starfish. He's like slowly inching along. Where? Right here. He's like covered oh. in, in little dirt things. <laughs> Hi, Benji. Look at you. There's a, there's a clownfish on your face. There's just so much to look at in here and see and do. I love looking at fish. over here we have a reef shark in here where's the wall oh is that like him up there he's like sitting on the ceiling there. I don't know but oh look we can see the tunnel the ocean tunnel so this is a another view what do we got like a, a big t-rex down here or is that a uh, what, what was the a whale. oh it could be a whale but what was the thing from Jurassic Park uh, world Jurassic World that uh, the things. A Plurisaurus or something? Something. Yeah, I doubt it's that. It's probably a probably whale. Probably a whale. Yeah. Ooh, there's lionfish over here. You can't see it very well. Which of these sea creatures has a venomous sting? We have yeah, the lionfish, yeah. the pufferfish, or the moray eel. I believe it is the lionfish. Need a clue, look at the fin facts. I don't know where the fin facts are though. Oh, the fish are eating. Something. 
They got something on that chain there. Oh, it's like, look, you can see a better piece up here. It's like zucchini or something. <laughs> I guess. Dive station number five is over there. Boys, did you get dive station yeah, five? Did. Okay. Really okay. Welcome to Critter Canyon. Wait, what's over here? Or, oh, this is this is an enclosed room. So we want to make sure we come in here first. There's a tortoise in here. Somewhere. Oh. He's back there under the log. There's supposed to be a snoring mountain king snake in here. Some, oh, he's in the back. I see him. We have another tortoise here, but he's he's like hanging out under there. Oh boy. We got a, you said there were no dinosaurs. That is definitely a dinosaur. Dive station number six. Learn to speak diver. See, I speak diver. So we're on the other side of that viewing area where we saw the big whale skeleton. Look, look, no, look how, look how big the head is. We see the head over here. It could be that dinosaur right there. Oh, they did have a dinosaur skeleton in there. They did. But <laughs> well, no, that still could be a whale, because whales do have that cape of... Oh, yeah, there's this... You know that... Split. Whales do have that cape of head, too, though. Do they? Yeah. Okay. So... There goes that shark again. Look, more Dory. See, that's the one who left bubbles. Bubbles. Bubbles? <laughs> that was his name, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you Bubbles. just looked it up? Yes. Now we're coming into seahorses. Benji, please don't run ahead. I see some over here. Oh, here's one. There's a, a skinny pipe cleaner seahorse. I don't know what he's called. Oh, there's a one. Oh, huh? Yeah, the pipe cleaner one's coming my way. Looks like James found dive station number seven. What are you supposed to do here? Spot a seahorse. There's 13 seahorses, four penguins, 13 ways. Oh. Yeah, there's 13 ways. Yeah, there's 13 ways. Yeah, there's 13 ways. Oh, awesome. Ooh, turtle. Oh, shark. I always love a good tunnel. Ooh, check out this. They said that this is a 360 degree tunnel, which means that you can see everywhere because there's water beneath. That is pretty unique. I see a It's like, look, I can see a fish through the ground. I gotta say, this is definitely super cool. 360 degree tunnel. Well, maybe more like 335 degree because, you know, I can't see through there, but it's pretty close. Whoa, what is this room? It's like the jellyfish room. They found dive station number eight, but we're gonna come out and take a look at the jellies. Jellies. Oh, look, the baby jelly. And a big old jelly. We don't talk about jellyfish? Yes. We don't talk about jellyfish. No, no, no. We don't talk about jellyfish. But the world. something so graceful and be so dangerous. I know. Catch of the day. Catch of the day. 
This was an activity that they had going on here that ended two days ago. Unfortunately, we can't participate because it ended, but they might have activities like this going on when you were here, so you should check it out. Look, another observation window for the big ocean room. Tunnel! <laughs> fell over. Tunnel. Yeah, there's another little bubble. Observation bubble. My boys like going inside. <laughs> Both of them. Look, it's dive station number nine. Well, it looks like that was our last room because we're exiting the aquarium now, I think. Oh, never mind. It wasn't the last room. <laughs> and Benjamin was just like, oh, please. Looks like just past the play area as the exit goes straight into the store here. Looks like they've got lots and lots of plushies in here. Ooh, check out this mug. Seize the day. I really like that mug. They have a sea turtle one that matches it. Slow down and enjoy life. All right, let me see what you got for completing your books, your, your dive books. You got a, oh, a cool shark necklace. Well, that is it for our time here at the Arizona Sea Life Aquarium. What'd you think? It was fun. It was fun. I thought a lot of their exhibits were well done. Uh, some of them are, are a lot better well done than our one in California. Uh, the, the Sea Life Aquarium in California is a little bit larger though. This is in a mall, so it's, con you know, it's conformed to the like mall size and things. Uh, whereas ours is two stories because they could choose whatever building size they want. But it was. It was a completely different exhibit here. They actually had Arizona fish. We have California fish. And then even their like, other types of exhibits, they had some of the same things. Uh, but they don't look the same. But it's yeah, not like it's, not, it's not an identical aquarium at all. It's definitely a completely unique experience. It took about an hour. The kids played for maybe about 10 minutes of that at the playground. So it's not that long of a visit. If you're going to do the Legoland Discovery Center and the Sea Life Aquarium at the same time, you definitely can do that. Uh, just feel free to spend a little bit longer in the Discovery Center because the aquarium doesn't take that long to get through. Uh, they, they told us to expect one to two hours. I feel like one was like pushing it for us almost. The kids just wanted to get through it and um, I was taking it slow. reading every sign, something yeah. like that. Yeah, exactly. We were still taking our good old time in the aquarium, but anyway, we had a great time. If you want to check out more videos of our trip here to Arizona, go ahead and uh, look for our Legoland Discovery Center video. You definitely want to check it out if you have kids and you're looking for a fun thing to do in Phoenix, Arizona. See you again next time.